Hi, in this Unity tutorial, I just want to demonstrate how we could draw a decal on a surface. This is how, this is the um, end result of what we're going to have here. I press play and I go into game view and with my mouse I could click on a surface and then a decal would draw on it. And as I'm clicking, you can see I have a normal that shows which direction is facing forward for when I click decal in. And then on a curved surface, it kind of sticks out a little because the decal is not wrapping. It's just like a flat, um, kind of like a flat license plate kind of feeling. All right, so um, let's see, how do we do this? Okay, first off, I just make a new scene. And in the scene, I'm going to put the objects I'm going to draw upon, my surfaces. So I'll start off with a cube. A cube is nice because it's just, I get all the sides and they're flat. Uh, reset position, focus on that guy. And then just make you a little bigger. So I got one, two, three. I got three sides right there that I could draw on for the cube. And another type of shape that I want to test out is a sphere. So I'll make a sphere. I'll make it a little bigger. And I'll also just move it over. Okay. And then give us some space there. And another shape I want to try with is the cylinder. Mm-hmm. So these are curved surfaces and flat surfaces. So reset, move you over here. I just want to make you a little fatter. Two, two. Okay, so I got some, I got some three basic shapes here. And these will be the surfaces I'm going to draw on. And um, now I need to have uh, the decal. Let me just set my camera to the position here, along with you. All right. Now I just need to make a decal. So the thing I'm going to use is a decal or a sticker. I'm just going to go to the internet and I typed in cartoon picture transparent to just get something to draw with. And then I could just pick anything. Oh, there goes SpongeBob. All right. So. Make sure it's a transparent image. It would have these um, checkered images in the back instead of a solid white like this. So this is good. This is transparent. PNGs usually have transparent. I'm just going to save that to my desktop. Whoops. I don't mean that saved. Sorry, guys. I mean this one over here. Save as. And just go to my desktop. SpongeBob picture. Save it. OK. Now here he is on my desktop. I'm just going to drag and drop him into my project. And first thing I have to do is change the image to a sprite and press apply. And there you go, you got the transparency. And then I have to make a decal. So the decals are basically using quads, this type of game object called a quad, a 3D object of a quad. And that's just basically four points, two triangles, a flat surface. Okay, so now this quad, um, I want to put this. Um, texture on there, the sprite that I made. And the only thing is you're going to see the sprite. It's not transparent in the background yet, even though the sprite itself has transparency. So what I'm going to do is I'll select the quad itself and then I'll go here to the material and I'll select fade. And there now we have transparency around the quad. All right. Um, now I'll just save this well first i'll call it my my decal okay well maybe i'll just call it spongebob spongebob all right and i'll put them over here as a prefab mm -hmm. and i can get rid of the one that's in the scene okay now i'm going to have to have a script that's going to do the um placing the decals for me. So I'll just call this um, my controller script, my controller 
it's an empty game object. But to it, I just want to add a script. Um, this script right here. So I'll just drag and drop the controller script there. And you're going to see it wants to know what the decal prefab is that I'm going to be drawing around when I click on surfaces. So I'll take my SpongeBob decal and drag and drop it there. Okay, now let's go into the script and see what we have in the script there. All right, here we are. So the script takes um, in the inspector, it's asking for what the decal prefab is. And this could be private, it doesn't have to be public. So I get the decal and privately I hold a pointer to the raycast hit. In the update function, I'm going to see if uh, the user presses the fire button. And this is cool because then this fire thing works with the mouse click, the left mouse click, or control click on the keyboard. And basically it's going to know the input wh wherever I click in the scene. I'm going to get the raycast from the camera to the screen to see where the mouse clicked. And that will be stored in the ray. And then from the ray, I use a physics ray cast to cast out the ray and see what it hits in the scene. And now hit is the place in the scene where I've hit. So I call spawn a decal and give it the position to spawn a decal. So here's the spawn decal function. Um, first thing I do is, is I instantiate the decal prefab and that kind of adds it to the hierarchy window here. Then I want the decal to face the same direction as the surface I hit. So I use the hits normal and then I just reverse it using a minus. Then I want the decal to be positioned on the point of the surface where I clicked. So I use this. And then being positioned right on the surface it's going to be exactly in the same position as the surface. There may be a conflict when the drawing happens. So I move up the decal just a little bit, about 0 0.01. I move it forward from the surface so that it draws above the surface. And that's how I spawn the decal. And then over here for on draw gizmos, this is a thing that will only show up in the scene view, the scene view. And um, I set the color for the gizmo to red. And then I draw one sphere at the point where I hit with the mouse click. Then I draw a line forward from where I hit forward in the direction of the normal. And then at the direction from the point forward to the normal, I draw another sphere. And this one's smaller. Okay, so it's real simple, small scripts here. Just press save and go back to the scene and let's see what happens. Let me just bring this a little bit better into view here. Okay, and then make sure I get the camera aligned before I press play. All right, now I'm gonna press play. And let's see what happens when I press click here, I get a SpongeBob. And then if I press here, I should get a SpongeBob too. And you notice, the, the normal for this SpongeBob is pointing this way. And if I click on this side, the normal for this SpongeBob is pointing this way. Let's see what happens when I click on top. That's right, and the normal is facing straight up. And now let's see what happens when I do the sphere. There you go. Facing up, and if I click somewhere up here, there you go. And you may notice that the SpongeBob is kind of like flat. It's not wrapping around the sphere. And on the cylinder, oh, i got a problem. The cylinder is not working the best. And on top of the cylinder, you can't seem to get it. So basically, um, this method is going to work well for flat surfaces if I um, put stuff on. But as you can see, even if I get to the corner of a flat surface, it's going to stick out. But this is kind of like an easy way to understand the decals. And every one that I'm putting there at runtime is going to have an instance here in the hierarchy window. And um, um, there you go. Thanks.